Hey there, my friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here. Today I've got a dandy, yes, I said dandy. I've got a dandy lesson for you to show you how to think about playing open chords on the electric guitar. Now, you might be saying to yourself, hey there, idiot, you just play open chords on the, on the electric guitar like you would an acoustic. Yeah, you can if you want to sound like poo-poo, but guys like Angus Young and Jimmy Page and you know classic rock guys, even modern rock guys, uh, don't pr approach the electric guitar the same way when it comes to open chords. And this is a little bit of a, or I should say it's a lot of bit of a secret or a tip that you're just not gonna hear people talk about very often because you learn your basic chords and then when you're up on stage or you're playing with a band, you realize that taking a note or two out or adding a note or something like that or changing the voicing of that chord really adds to the punch of that chord, okay? So this is kind of a pro tip that you're just not gonna probably get in your, in your regular lessons or, or even reading a book, okay? So, I'm going to show it to you today. You're going to rock out with your socks out and you're going to have a blast. Okay, so let's do this. So, we're going to look at your basic open chords that you would find in any ACDC song or Zeppelin tune or, or, or that sort of thing. So, this is for songs that are, you know, in open keys, which most, uh, most rock songs are. Okay, so um, we're going to look at a G, a D, an E, a C, an A, an F and a B minor. Now the F and the B minor are obviously not open chords, okay? But they are, in fact, sorry, a little bit, uh, a little bit sniffly here, the uh, blizzard. Um, so, you know, we've got these bar chords that I'm gonna just throw in as a little extra because you're gonna run across them, okay? Okay, so here we go. So like the regular G chord, most of us play like this, right? Or some play it like this. Some people can play it like this. But this is the version that I'm talking about right now. It seems to be the most common one that we play on the acoustic guitar. Sounds real nice. For the electric version, what I want you to do is consider leaving the third out of the chord. That's a quality of the note. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. In this case, just leave out the fifth string. And we're gonna do this by taking our second finger and letting it touch against that fifth string so that the chord sounds like this. Fifth string's muted. And the rest of the chord is played. So the only note that's out is the fifth string. And it sounds like this. Instead of like this. Sounds like this. Okay, trust me, that sort of thing cuts through when you're playing with a band. This right here muddies up your sound a bit. Okay, for the D chord, D chord is made up of a D, an A, and an F sharp. So technically, we can have this low A in there. A lot of people just mute that low E string and let the A sound out like this. And you got that low rumble of the D chord. But I'm saying, if you want that chord to cut through, reach your thumb over more, mute the sixth and fifth string. This takes a little getting used to it. For newbies, I'd say don't try doing this. Just play your chord right. Later on, you can try this exercise because, or this technique, because it's a little bit, a little bit difficult. So, at first, especially if your hands are smaller, okay? So here, I've got sixth and fifth string muted, and the D string is sounding out. Okay, now for our, for, and that's a D major chord. For this G chord, that could be G major or minor. It's a unisex chord. We're leaving the third out that makes it major or minor. So you could use it for a minor chord, you know, a G minor chord, and it's still gonna sound good in that setting. Um, unless you're wanting to hear the minor note, then it won't work as well. But if somebody else is playing the minor note in the band, then you could play that and it's not gonna insult their chord, okay? It's not gonna sound bad with it. Same thing with this E version. Instead of an E minor, you're gonna mute the third string with your third finger. So. Get it? So you could use this for major or minor. Here's what a minor sounds like. Here's what it sounds like when I don't play that third string. Sounds more open, more attainable. 
that's everything. Here's without that note. Same thing with major. We play in an E major. Or playing without the third. Now you may not hear much of a difference, but I promise you when you're playing with a band or something, you know, playing with other musicians, it's gonna sound really good. Now for the C chord, leave the third out again. I'll show you two different ways to play this. So for the, the C chord, that's the full chord. If you wanna leave the third out, lift your second finger up, let your third finger bump into the fifth string. That, of course, we're muting the low E string. So, it should sound like this. Okay, I've got the fourth string muted. Here's with, here's without. With, without. Okay, now, the version that I was using earlier is a G add nine chord. I'm sorry, a C add nine chord, except I'm leaving the third out again. So this is what a C add nine sounds like by itself. Here's what it sounds like without the third. Can you hear how it's more separated? It's not as muddy sounding. Here it is with a third. Here it is without. Okay. For your A chord, a lot of folks just grab an A like this instead of like this. And they leave out that high E string. So, uh, not so much a trick there, just what, what you see a lot of times. Okay, so I'm muting the low E string, because otherwise your chord's gonna sound like this, which now we got that muddy sound again. If that's what you're going for, great. If it's not, bring your thumb over the top of the neck, mute that low E string, and there's your A, okay? As far as an F chord, you could watch, uh, watch my video on the effing F chord. You can do that by typing effing, E-F-F-I-N-G, your guitar sage. And um, hopefully that's the only video that'll pop up is the one with the uh, effing F chord, me playing the effing F chord. <laughs> okay, so, um, <clears throat> so we could play an F chord as a bar chord like this, right? Or we could play it minus the low E string, like this. And notice my hand doesn't have to change too much from how, it, how a C chord feels. One thing I gotta do is change the fingering. It's not like I'm doing C chord, F chord, and I'm changing my thumb position. It's not some big transition, I'm just doing this. And that is very convenient for rock and roll, and that's a nice sound. That F chord sounds great. Here's all the strings. Here's without it. Not much of a difference. That low F is not adding that much. And of course, this one's movable. If you need to know more about bar chords, here on YouTube, type in your guitar sage bar chords and a funny man with a Fu Manchu who looks very similar to me, my twin brother, is actually teaching this, okay? So check that out. All right, so, um, same, same thing. We could take that form and move it up if we wanted to play a minor, like a B minor chord. Uh, let's back up a minute. We wanted to play like an F minor. Uh, just don't play the third. So in this case here, um, you could play the third. You could just play it open, or you could just play it like this. So instead of playing the bar chord like this, you'd lose that, um, we'd leave out the sixth string, you'd play it like this. But if we want to open that chord up a little bit, you'll take your pinky, let it touch the third string, and then we got this sound. Instead of playing this. Instead of minor, playing it as a power chord or a fifth. Okay. You could do the same thing with the B minor chord uh, that you would do as with the F chord. Just leave the low E string out. And of course, those aren't open chords, but I figured I'd throw those in there as well because that's gonna take care of 99% of the chords that you're gonna run into in rock, you know, classic rock and those sorts of things. You're, there's gonna be variations of those, but if you think about leaving that, that second low note out, it's really gonna open up your sound 
a lot more. Hey, if you like this video, hit thumbs up and hit subscribe. I've got, you know, 700 something odd videos here on YouTube. Make sure you check out the Unstoppable Guitar System. Link is below. For $1, you can get in there and, oh my gosh, just, I can't even tell you all the good stuff that you're gonna get. And it's one flipping dollar. So go there, check it out. It's my pro course and you're privy to it for $1. So um, go to the Unstoppable, no, go to Your Guitar Sage, get the free ebook. What? You get a free ebook, yes. And you get the course for a dollar. Check that out. Uh, what else? Spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. Don't trust the man. Play lots of guitar. See ya. Mm -hmm.